Hi folks, we are in Mooresville, North Carolina at the Main Street Antique and Design Store. We've been here before. It is almost June 2021. I'm going to go inside and see what they have. Got a lot of murals on the wall. I got the Mona Lisa there. And the guy telling you to be quiet. They've also got a cool restaurant right next door, Barcelona. And then they've got a pizza place down here. We'll get a better picture of that in just a little bit. And there you go. It kind of shows you what they have. All kinds of cool beers, imports, domestics. I think also some of their brewery beers, local beers. And they're known for their rotisserie chicken and burgers. So if you're wanting to stop by and see Barcelona, it's a great restaurant. Well, this is new here. Since I was last year, the old fresh market out front with a variety of different vegetables locally grown. And here's the entryway here, Antique Mall, Main Street, and Design Gallery. And as you enter Main Street Antique, you do have an artist here doing a painting. That is very cool. And of course, here's one of my favorite booths in the building. It's actually the first one you see as you enter the store. Do a quick little walk through here. I've seen him at the toy shows. If you see some of my past videos that I go to, isn't that awesome? A lot of vintage collectibles. Very colorful booth too. And he maintains it and does a nice uh, display of all the collectibles. Yeah, I just love it. Awesome. Really glass cases too. He's got all kinds of uh, collectibles in each of the glass cases. So if you uh, go through here, make sure you check out his glass cases because uh, you may find something nostalgic. Oh, check that Andre the Giant out. That's pretty cool back there in the back. Yeah, he's actually added a lot more since I was last here. It's been a few months, probably more now, probably about four months since I last visited this place. So that's why I get the cool coverage of his <laughs> of his booth for you. I mean, he's got everything. So you can pause it if you want to and see all his wonderful toys and collectibles. And he's got more here too. He's got cards too. Um, your sports cards. He's got also movie and television cards. So you got them still wrapped up in their boxes too. That's pretty cool. Check it out. And there's a booth, uh, sorry, a display case here with all kinds of goodies. He's got the old Atari Jedi Arena game there by Parker Brothers. There's a name I haven't heard in a long time, Parker Brothers. See, check out Bucky O'Hare. Okay, Bucky O'Hare to me looks just like Jackson, or Jackson looks just like uh, Bucky O'Hare. And Jackson, who I'm talking about, is in Star Wars. Look him up. You'll see what I'm talking about. J A X X O N, Jackson. Check out the flamingo. Definitely for the inside, not the outside. Kind of a plushie. He's $89, but he does look pretty neat. So you will find booths with all kinds of vintage clothing as well. And you might find some great deals. So, yeah, I love vintage clothing too. They're great for costumes. If you're looking for that particular costume you're making for my costume people out there, yeah, definitely check out the vintage clothing booths. This is a really nice piano, London piano from John uh, Broadwood and Sons. 12,500, it's a great shape. Love this right here, check that out. That looks awesome. And some of them aren't booths, they're uh, these display cases here. So check these out too. So if you have a dealer that is just selling small amounts of trinkets, things like that, they're gonna rent these little booths out, glass cases. And but just take your time looking inside each one. 
like for instance <laughs> these old marquee for your cars they go on your car get the mustang there get the 500 uh galaxy for your car so if you're refurbishing or need something for your car or if you just want to have a cool display on a plaque of the old marquees that were on the cars there you go you'll find things just like this in these little glass cases little vintage mickey here 15 dollars kind of faded out but it's a little piggy bank i usually have to look and see if there's a year that these were made but it is a walt disney production mickey mouse piggy bank so we just started looking hope you enjoy this little uh visit to the antique mall i love coming here you can find some really great deals so and i'll in the description i'll have the information for this location it's in mooresville north carolina so check that out i'll have the address phone number and the times they are open and closed love this too the old beer taps you got tons of variety of beer taps there, and there's a lot of collectors out there too check out the cars the formula cars and the nascar all kinds of beer taps all through here and they vary in prices i think it depends on how ornate they are and how rare they are check that one out the pumpkin head on it these are so cool like this guy here he's around he's almost 60 bucks you got the surfer man and they've got old uh, steins and mugs some of the old signs love the old vintage so sign there very cool my wife loves roosters this one's pretty cool check him out kind of a paper mache type material and he's 18 dollars but she loves roosters and some of these booths are nicely themed too so i love when they theme out the uh booths at the antique malls that's pretty cool this is only 4.99 it's like a uh, dessert tray or a uh, snack tray or just a baby tray where you put their food on and put it on serve it to them on their on their where they're sitting that's pretty cool 4.99 and check out that old typewriter the oliver that is pretty cool it's 199 looks like it's in great shape though great display piece love that and there's another section over here off the main one of the main aisles so we'll walk through here and check this out there's your vintage clothing again very neat 60s and 70s and 80s colorful glitter wear yeah, pink panther it's pink panther skirt <laughs> Wow, that's pretty cool. Let me see how much that is. Thirty bucks. And if you're looking for a brass candlestick, a great assortment for you to choose from. Now this is new since I've last been here. They opened up this entire area to scale trains and modeling. Wow, very nice. Yeah, he needed this. I knew he had like three or four booths before, and um, he definitely needed the room. So they freed this up for him. Wow, I love scale model trains as well. He's got a pretty impressive collection of Lionel and just all the different brands he can choose from. He's got a uh, area over here. Check out these some vintage toys up here. Made out of tin. That is so awesome. He's got a great selection of the old steam trains. And also he sells the models to go with your train set. So a lot of vintage items here. The toys. Check the old Piedmont Airline jet there. That's very cool. More scale model trucks and cars for your train display and setup at home or wherever. Some cool scale buildings as well. Old train station. Man, he's got everything. Got the switch station too here for the uh, engines. 
And he's got a cool area for testing your train out in case you're interested in buying one of his engines. You can test them out, put them on the track, and make sure they're working. This is really nice. I've been thinking about getting something like this for either my workshop or the house itself. I have it outside. It's kind of a three-dimensional. Love that piece. It's 139, but it's really, really nice. Love this piece here. Wow. Look how ornate that is. Check that out. Yeah, this is really nice. Just the craftsmanship of this piece. Can I see? It's 4,800 French oak hutch bookcase. Wow. And cupboard. 19th century. Yeah, you don't find workmanship like that anymore. These are pretty cool. These are the folk art birdhouses. Love these. Look at the, it's got the door handles on it, different handles just to add character to it. Get the old little campers here, birdhouses. There it is, folk art birdhouses. These are pretty popular. I've seen these guys popping up everywhere, artists making these. And they're around $85, $65. And they're all just really unique for each one. And you got these Three Stooges hand puppets. <laughs> they go for about $85 each. You got all three of them. You got Mo, Larry, and Curly. A lot of cool porcelain vintage dolls. If you're a collector, you would probably find a vintage doll here for your collection. And they are currently 20% off. Some cool ornaments for your car from the front of the hood. And other ornaments. There's a piece of a steering wheel there and actually it looks like from a Mustang on the side there yeah so you'll find stuff like that all through this uh, place and you've got some vintage oil canisters those are highly collectible too for your man cave a lot of guys are doing that nowadays when they're man cave putting in some uh, oil canisters this the nostalgia of it too you know because a lot of times you don't see those anymore the way they used to come in containers like that Check out this Cinderella carriage with the horses clock. 89 bucks. I like that a lot. You got these really cool vintage radios. Wow. I love the stand up one too. Man. These are really neat. Rare antique mini radios that one out the family used to gather around and listen to the radio in the living room a long time ago now they just sit on their phones but these are very cool well the race is going on today in charlotte so if you're a nascar fan there's a cool nascar booth here get the die cast you get different scales of the cars and you've also got the actual team pit crew shirts actually worn by the pit crew so if you uh, want a piece of uh, history you got the m m racing here not neat and these are actual been worn some of these pit crew outfits have been worn i think they have a couple booths like that here where they've actually worn these pit crew outfits but they've got all kinds of different scale uh cars here in this booth yeah, a good assortment. There's a really neat Donald Duck bank from Disney. Pan out here. And got this cool programmable space robot. And you've got your dancing Jar Jar Binks. Tried to work him, but he's not uh, working right now. Probably needs more new batteries. Got this really cool porcelain. It's a uh, school crossing sign. That is pretty neat. Got the old cigar shop statue there. The home of cigars. Then, look carefully here. You've got a giraffe skull. Talk about something very unique. Check this vintage Bugs Bunny Halloween outfit. I think it's seen better days, but it's still in the box. 
And this looks like a part of the still, copper still there. That's pretty neat. You've got all these vintage photographs of the old West. You got that old uh, Transformers jumbo collection case. Pirate ship there. Power Rangers punch out game. And over there, the old G.I. Joe Jeep. You got this cool vintage six million dollar man lunchbox for 50 bucks. That's pretty cool. I think I may have had these when I was a kid. This is uh, the Lone Ranger. He's missing his mask. And you got Tonto. So they want the set for uh, $25. There's Steve Austin, the $6 million man, still in his rocket, ready to go. And here's your Pops booth here. Wow. Not only Pops, got McFarlane DC figures, all kinds of cool collectibles. Mainly all Pops, of course. Like Batman stuff, get your Harry Potter stuff. Very neat. There's E.T. Caddyshack. Ghostbusters and Back to the Future. I've got most of these, really. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty sad, isn't it? But, no, it, um, they've got a, he's got a great collection. I think he's got like three or four booths of uh, different pops figure so he's got a bunch to choose from it's like now he's put them all together so before they were spread out um to different locations but i think now it looks like he's got all his pops in one area so they're here and then the other two are over here right across from each other love those rocky and bullwinkle pops and then you've also got Natasha and Boris up here. So he's got them categorized. So you get all the movie stuff over here. You've got your horror stuff over here. And then over here, it's your Disney pops. Love these Marty Feldman from Young Frankenstein. Great. Another awesome rooster for your garden. 45 for him. Yeah, eventually I'm going to get one of these for ours because I know Connie loves roosters. This is pretty cool. Old Dog Vinyl Records. And there's our site up there. It's www.olddogvinylrecords.com. And looks like they've got a great collection of vinyl records. And of course, you're going to find your Star Wars booth with all the cool figures, a lot of your Legends and Black Series, a lot of the Pops. I believe all, this is also the same guy who has the uh, Pops booths too, has this Star Wars booth. Um, yeah, he's got a very cool collection. I may have to pick up something here to add to mine. Look at all these different... Deadpool pops. <laughs> There's part of the uh, Bad Batch. I've got a couple of these. i got to see what other ones he might have. If he's got uh, the ones I need. Yeah, look at all these. Here's their Marvel pops over here. But he's got a great array of Star Wars collectibles all throughout here. He's got your G.I. Joe's over here. Very nice. Groot. Kind of pan around here so you can see all of uh, his figures. Yeah, he's got a lot of cool stuff. He's got a whole area for uh, Mandalorian too. Or he did. They're right here. Yeah, here you go. Here's your Mandalorian stuff here. Great selection. Back over here, more of your Black Series figures. So we're actually near the end of our visit to the Mooresville Main Street 
antique and design gallery. And check that bar out. It's part motorcycle, part bar. That's very unique. Great idea. And that, my friends, was Morrisville Antique Mall. And it was awesome. We didn't find anything today. I did see a few things I wanted, but nothing I could bring home today. So we will be back soon. And, but I hope you enjoyed this little visit to Mooresville and the Antique Mall. Packed up now. So there is no mask required if you're vaccinated. So that's nice, but it's still spread out really good. So yeah, yeah social distancing, you don't have to worry about it. There wasn't that uh, amount of people where they're all congregated. I mean, there were a lot of people here, but it's spread out. It's a big place. So yeah, we're all good. So, but please, like subscribe more content coming soon i appreciate it and please comment if you have any ideas of uh things you might want might want to see in north carolina we'll try to do it all right guys take care we'll see you soon bye bye